Hello and welcome to ZAP Yard and Jap Academy. Are you an ABAP developer looking to stay ahead of the curve? Join our specially curated, instructor-led, live, hands-on ABAP on cloud training program and discover how to leverage the power of cloud technology to enhance your SAP ABAP development skills. In this course, we will learn how to develop new SAP ABAP applications specially tailored for cloud environments. We will learn how to utilize cloud-based services to enhance our ABAP solutions. Also, we will master best practices for cloud-specific ABAP developments. If you want to stay relevant in SAP industry, expand your career opportunities, and discover how cloud-based tools can streamline our SAP ABAP development process, then learn from an experienced ABAP developer who has not only worked in Tier 1 MNC like IBM, but is also an alumni of IIT. He has worked extensively in India, USA, and Europe. Currently, he leads the ABAP and Cloud Practice Office organization in Europe. Our experienced trainer will teach the ABAP Cloud from the perspective you will not find in any books or other trainings. Don't miss out on this opportunity to take your ABAP skills to the next level. Enroll today and embark on a journey towards becoming a Cloud ABAP expert. Most SAP consultants, including the ABAP developers, have the confusion, what is RAP? What is ABAP Cloud and what is ABAP Environment and what are the differences between them? In this course, our trainer will explain the difference and also showcase each of these terms in details using appropriate practical examples. But if you cannot wait till the training, then RAP is a framework for cloud-based app while ABAP Cloud is the programming language used in RAP framework. ABAP Cloud is the solution of the same robust SAP ABAP programming language which is specially optimized for cloud. An ABAP environment is the service in the cloud platform which uses ABAP cloud programming language following RAP framework to build cloud-based app. Still confused? Rewind and please hear the previous sentences one more time. Unit 1 will serve as a foundational introduction to ABAP on cloud. Participants will explore the historical context of ABAP's evolution from on-premise system to cloud-based environments, understanding the key drivers and benefits of this transition. We will then delve into the practical aspects of setting up the development environment, including installing the ABAP development tool ADT plugins for Eclipse and establishing a secure connection to the ABAP environment or the Steampunk. To solidify understanding and provide a hands-on experience, participants will create their first ABAP on cloud application. This will involve writing basic ABAP code on cloud, activating the report and executing it to see the output. This initial exercise will serve as a stepping stone demonstrating the core concepts and processes involved in ABAP development within the cloud-based environment. ABAP RESTful Application Programming Model or RAP is a powerful framework that simplifies the development of RESTful APIs using ABAP. It provides a structured approach ensuring consistency and maintainability in API design. In this unit, we will delve into the key elements of RAP and explore its architecture. We will discuss the core components that form the foundation of RAP including the data definition layer, business logic layer and service layer. These layers work together to encapsulate data, business logic and API exposure promoting a modular and efficient development process. To create an ABAP RESTful application using RAP, we will follow a structured approach. First, we will define the database table that will serve as the data source for our application. This table will contain the relevant fields and data types to represent the entities we want to expose through our API. Once the database table is defined, we will generate additional objects using RAP's code generation capabilities. These objects include the data model, business logic, and service layer. The data model represents the structure of the database table, while the business logic layer contains the methods that implement the application's behavior. Finally, the service layer exposes the API endpoints that clients can use to interact with the applications. In Unit 4, we will dive deeper into the world of ABAP on cloud programming. We will explore how to add custom code to the generated objects within RAP, enhancing their functionality to meet specific requirements. We will also learn how to effectively analyze and understand existing ABAP code using techniques such as code inspection and debugging. To ensure the quality and reliability of our applications, we will cover various testing strategies. This includes unit testing, integration testing, and end-to-end -end testing. By conducting thorough testing, we will identify and address potential issues early in the development process, delivering robust and high-quality ABAP RESTful applications. Code pushdown is a powerful optimization technique in ABAP SQL that can significantly improve query performances, thanks to the HANA database innovation. By moving certain 
computations from the application server to the database server, code push turn allows the database to process data more efficiently. This can lead to faster query execution times and reduced load on the application server. In this session, we will explore the concepts of code push down and discuss various methods and techniques for achieving it on cloud. We will cover topics such as SQL expressions, join conditions and aggregate functions. By understanding how to effectively apply code push down, we can optimize our ABAP query and enhance the overall performance of our applications on cloud. By now, every developer should be familiar with CDS whether they are on S4 HANA or just HANA database. Core Data Services or CDS is a powerful data modeling language that provides a declarative approach to defining and consuming data in ABAP applications. CDS allows to create semantic data models which represents the business concepts and relationship between data entities. In this unit, we will explore the key concepts of CDS and learn how to define CDS views. We will discuss the syntax and structure of CDS views including how to specify the fields, data types and associations between different entities. We will also dive into the powerful capabilities of CDS such as adding logic to CDS views using expressions and functions. This will enable us to perform calculations, filters and other operations directly within the data model. Data modeling is a critical aspect of ABAP development on cloud ensuring that data is structured and organized effectively. By using core data services, we will create robust and flexible data models that align with our business requirements. In this unit, we will explore the importance of data modeling and the benefit it brings to ABAP on cloud applications. We will discuss the various types of CDS views including entity view, projection view and search views. Each type has its own purpose and can be used to represent different aspects of our data. Additionally, we will explore techniques to improve the performance of code pushed down within CDS view ensuring that our application runs effectively and efficiently. We all know what cannot be achieved by CDS can be done by table functions and AMDPs. Table functions are a powerful feature in ABAP that allows us to add complex logic to core data services views. By using AMDP, we can leverage SQL script to perform complex calculations, aggregations and data transformations directly within the database. This can significantly improve query performance and reduce the load on the application server and also help achieve complex requirements which are not straightforward. In this unit, we will explore the concept of table functions and learn how to create them using AMDP. We will discuss the syntax and structures of SQL script as well as the various functions and operators that can be used within AMDP. We will also provide practical examples of how to develop table functions to enhance the functionality of our CDS views. Our experienced instructor will give clear picture of when to use AMDP and procedures and when to use CDS. Annotations are like magical spells which gives power to CDS. In technical terms, annotations are metadata tags that provide additional information about CDS views and their elements. They can be used to customize the behavior of CDS views, control data access and enhance the user experience. In this unit, we will explore the various types of annotations available in CDS and learn how to use them to modify the behavior of CDS views. We will provide practical examples and use cases to demonstrate how annotations can be applied to customize field labels, control visibility and implement data validation rules. By understanding and utilizing annotations effectively, we can create more flexible and user-friendly CDS views. To consolidate our understanding and apply the concepts learned throughout the course, we will work on developing a complex ABAP on cloud application. This application will leverage all the techniques and technologies covered in previous units including CDS views, AMDPs, annotations and wrap. We will focus on creating a user interface for the application, utilizing appropriate UI components to provide a seamless user experience. Additionally, we will also explore how to expose the application as RESTful API, making it accessible to other systems or applications. By completing this project, we will gain valuable hands-on experience and demonstrate our capability to build robust and scalable ABAP on cloud applications using modern development practices. ABAP on cloud offers flexibility in deploying and managing applications. In this session, we will explore the different application scenarios available each with its own advantages and considerations. The managed scenario provides a fully managed environment where SAP handles the infrastructure, operating system and database. This option is ideal for organizations that prefer a hassle-free approach and want to focus on application development. In contrast, the unmanaged scenario gives you more control over the underlying infrastructure. This scenario is suitable for organizations with specific requirement or existing infrastructure investments. Additionally, we'll discuss draft support in ABAP on cloud. This feature allows us to create and manage drafts of our application, enabling us to iterate 
refine and complete the application process. Extensions in ABAP on cloud provides a flexible mechanism for customizing and extending existing SAP application without modifying the core code. This approach helps to maintain the integrity of the standard SAP system while allowing us to tailor applications to specific business needs. In this session, we'll explore the various types of extensions available in ABAP on cloud. We will discuss how to extend dictionary objects such as tables and structures to add new fields or modify existing ones. Additionally, we will cover the process of extending CDS views, allowing us to add custom logic, fields or associations. Finally, we will explore metadata extensions will enable us to modify metadata elements such as field labels, help text and authorization settings. By understanding and utilizing extensions effectively, we can customize SAP applications to meet our organization's unique requirements. You can see there is a lot to learn, practice and master in this special course. Do not miss this opportunity to elevate your ABAP skills and embrace the power of cloud technology. Join our live ABAP on cloud training and gain the expertise you need to succeed in today's dynamic SAP landscape. Our comprehensive curriculum covers everything from foundational concepts to advanced techniques, ensuring you are well equipped to build innovative and scalable ABAP on cloud applications. Do not think twice. Enroll now to secure a place and start your journey towards becoming an ABAP on cloud expert. The details of the training dates and time along with the enrollment fee is provided in the description section of this video. Please note, this is weekend only course and if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live class. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. There will be 12 classes in total and each class will be little more than 2.5 hours. For some reasons, if you are not able to join the live classes someday, do not worry. Recordings of the class will be uploaded at our training page and the participants will have lifetime access to those recordings. Participants will create free account on the cloud and do all hands-on on the cloud platform. In addition to that, we will connect to backend system from the cloud platform and from Eclipse and perform our hands-on exercises. If you still have queries, questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail zapyard at gmail.com or mail at zapyard.com. Thank you very much. Stay safe and see you live on the training day.